So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3 Zombies. The headshot challenge is complete. 500 million headshots has been complete and everybody gets the new limited edition pack-a-punch camo called Cosmic. And it does look pretty damn sexy. Here's the thing. Is a camo enough for you to keep playing zombies? This is the question we have to present to the entire community right now because a lot of people are saying this isn't enough compared to what we got before because we're getting less rewards now compared to what PS4 got, right? So the Xbox guys also get the PS4 rewards, but the event wasn't as impactful. That's what I'm trying to say. You'll notice in the extras under your weapons kit, you can find the cosmic camo and apply it to each and every one of your weapons. This is the new reward that came with the eight days of the undead they changed the eight days to just days of the undead on the second tier of the event so when xbox got it they dropped the eight i think because this is treyarch we're all sort of giving them a free pass because they did create a really great game but they simply just did not have enough time to fully develop everything that they wanted to in this game they started meeting deadlines the alpha stage hit they started having to cut stuff we know how it goes. I do think we got so much in Black Ops 3 that the event process and the PR marketing behind it wasn't quite up to par to meet our standards, especially if you've played other games that have very integral looting systems that we just got cheaped out of. Now, I don't think this game was fully thought out in the way it was intended, and the success that came with it brought millions more in to watch this actual event take place. And since it didn't quite meet up to everyone's standard. I think a lot of people have left zombies right now, and I'm here still left talking about it, which is fine. I'm going to be remaining here with the rest of the patch notes throughout the entirety of Black Ops 3. We'll move into World War II zombies, start the patch notes there, and complete Infinite Warfare zombies off with DLC 4. And that's how the cycle is going to complete. We'll have Treyarch coming the very next year after World War II. So we're in for a really good treat in the upcoming games. But if you were to ask my professional opinion, what would I expect already out of Treyarch if they were to have this game set up to where they add something in and it doesn't totally affect the entire game where they have to test everything? And that's the issue we run into. Everything's connected together in all the wrong ways. They're not separated correctly. I want a flamethrower. I think a flamethrower attachment would have been freaking sweet and it was applied to every single weapon you could just throw it on as an attachment and this would have been a start to the looting system being progressed a little bit and I don't like the idea of variants I think this should have been a free giveaway for sure an attachment that is a flamethrower they could have went quite a few different directions but for the second tier event that Xbox got it was the cosmic camo and it was just a camo unlock. I mean, is this how it's going to be in the upcoming future? Is this what you guys want? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this because I want a freaking flamethrower. I want attachments to get cool. And not only that, I want my zombies character eventually to have an actual customization option to it. And comes with that a PvP mode, an online mode that hasn't been looked at in so long. We keep continuing to do this survival mode over and over again where we have just an easter egg that we solved and now we have people data mining this shit taking all the fun out of it just so they can get views it's not right things need to change and i think adding a pvp mode that's worth it with customization and a looting system that works hand in hand and rewards you for everything that you're doing and a tracking system that can help with achievements i think these are the things that need to be approved on for black ops 4 and with the send off of this cosmic camo potentially being the last thing we see from Treyarch and Black Ops 3, I think we need to take this more than just with a grain of salt because this is the moment where we need to speak our voice. And I think that the fact that crypto keys weren't in zombies, you can't earn crypto keys in zombies like you can in Infinite Warfare zombies. You earn keys in zombies as an addition, and that is wrong. Okay, that's part of the greed system with Activision, and I think they need to change that so the entire looting system works together because if you're going to add new dlc weapons into multiplayer and i have to go into multiplayer just to earn crypto keys where i'm not earning them in zombies something's not right and that's my last statement i have with black ops 3 and i do think that we can improve tenfold here with what we've learned from the experience and events that we've gone through in black ops 3 moving into the future towards the next title let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, overall, the cosmic camo does look sexy, and I'm glad we got it. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Violent out!